Hey guys, it's me, Crystal. Um, somebody actually hit me up on Facebook asking me to show them how to do makeup. Well, they live in Houston, Texas, and I live in Birmingham, Alabama. So I thought this would actually be the easier way to go about it. Um, it's very simple, very, um, very passable. Um, so, yeah, this is actually what I do whenever I go on stage. The only thing I'm not doing is I'm not doing lip gloss, I'm not doing uh, mascara, and I'm not doing lashes. Because it's all, that, that all depends on the person really and truly on how they want to do it and what kind of lashes they want to use and this and that and the other. So, without further ado, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, um, find me on Facebook. I will post the link in the little box thingy down below. I'll also, I think I actually mentioned this in the video, but I will actually post a link to Blanche Babcock and Petri Lude because they have an amazing, they both have amazing tutorials on how to cover your eyebrows. Um... So, oh, Blanche also has a video on how to shave, and, and I think she does. If she does, I'll post it. If not, then I'll make a little comment thingy, like, right here, saying she does or not. So, but anyway, all the links will be in the, um, the little boxy thingy below. So, yeah, without further ado, here's the video. Thanks. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to shave, make sure you shave everything, get it really nice and smooth, um, shave everything you're going to put makeup on, then you're going to want to moisturize. Um, as far as your eyebrows, I'm going to make this really quick note, as far as your eyebrows, you don't have to shave them off, you can either cover them, um, Blanche Babcock and um, Josh or Petri Lude, they both have really amazing uh, tutorials on how to cover your eyebrows. Where you can partial shave them, which means you only you have like a starter brow and then you just draw up from there or whatever. Or you do like me, you just shave them completely off. Um, so yeah, just that quick note. I'll actually put a link to both of their videos on how to cover eyebrows in the description bar below. Then you want to foundation your face. I'm actually using um, a Napoleon Paradise stick. Um, put it all over that's going to be seen. Um, your foundation needs to be pretty close to your skin tone color so that it's easier to blend. Ooh, it didn't shave as well as I thought it did. Anyway, so it's easier to blend everything. Don't forget your eyelids. Depending on how you want to do it, some people do their eye makeup first and then go back and do their foundation. I personally can't do that. Um, Take that all the way down if you have to. You just take either a um, uh, foundation brush or a sponge or something and blend everything out so that it covers your entire face. This is actually probably the third tutorial I've done and the second one was actually really good but it all didn't get uploaded because my computer crashed and I lost half of the uh, tutorials. So part of it's up and part of it isn't. Um, so this will probably just reinforce some of what you've already learned from either other people or my tutorial or whatever. Um, So yeah, you don't have to cover your lips, it's just easier when you go to, um, when you go to draw them on or line them, how, whichever way you decide you want to do it. Um, it's just easier for me to cover them completely. And you want to use a really good foundation, like, is full coverage as you can possibly get it um, so that it hides anything on your face. So now that that's done, I'm going to use an airspun powder. This is um, naturally neutral and just a really big powder puff. I'm going to be as neat as possible because this gets really messy and just put it all over your face. And what this does is it sets your foundation 
so that everything that you put on top of it stays put. Um, some people don't do this for whatever reason. I personally can't because I sweat a lot, so my makeup tends to run a little bit. So, and just take a really big fluffy brush and brush any of the excess off. So, there's that. Now I'm going to take another airspun powder. This is the lightest it comes. It's translucent. Just a smaller fluffy brush, uh, fl uh, powder puff. I'm going to do my highlights. There's one under the eye and across the apple of the cheek up to the hairline. And when you get to the corner of your eye, you're going to want to come up a little bit so that it follows the natural cheekbone of a girl. They have naturally higher cheekbones than we do as men. If you have a flat face, the more flat you do everything, the flatter and the more square it's going to make your face look. If you pull it up a little bit, it's going to round your face because women also have that, um, they also have, um, their faces are more round than ours. So this goes right under the eye and up a little bit across the apple of your cheek. So the same on both sides. Do your chin. You can do your jawline if you want to. You don't have to. It's just personal choice. You want to get everything as even as possible so that your face doesn't look wonky. Center of your forehead, down the center of your nose. This one actually needs to be very, very thin. And I'll explain why in a second. And then you can do your cupid's bow if you want to. You don't have to. So, leave that powder open because you're going to come back to it in a minute anyway.